Bartolome de las Casas, please come in. Mi casa su casas. Can I get you anything? Water, juice, club soda with a splash of cram? Anyway, because you are here, I assume you want to know what my deal is. I shall tell you. Just allow me to get comfortable. There we go. Now, a little about myself. I'm a champion of the little man. This does not mean that I cheer on small boys. Rather... When I see that a particular group is being abused or unfairly treated, I become inspired to help them. Same reason I stopped that juvenile delinquent yesterday from frying those ants with his magnifying glass. Anyway, I was born in Spain back in uh, many years ago. A as a young man, I enlisted in the military and went to serve in the New World. I was very excited. I could finally cash in some of my frequent sailing miles. As a reward for my service, I was given an encomienda, a village filled with Indian laborers who would answer only to me. It sounds like a sweet deal. I would never have to run out again to pick up a latte. But after witnessing the treatment of the natives on the island, and after talking things over with my friend Antonia de Montesinos, a local friar with some opinions on the subject, I realized that what we were doing was inhumane. We were treating the Indians like dogs. And I figured, if you want a dog, why not get a dog? So I quit my encomienda and became a priest. I decided to dedicate myself from that point onward to the proper treatment of the Indian population. Years later, I was made a bishop in southern Mexico. It was great. I had always wanted to be a chess piece. I tried to introduce the new laws which included offering rights to Indians and doing away with the encomienda system, but not everyone was uh, receptive. I penned a book called A Short Account of the Destruction of the Indy. There was initially some confusion, but we cleared that up. In my book, I outlined all of the atrocious and ungodly behaviors of my fellow Spaniards in the New World and attempted to appeal to the masses and to the crown for immediate action to right this terrible wrong. Whether anything had come of my efforts, the very fact that human rights were being discussed was a big deal. It was a first, for once people were seriously debating the issue. In fact, an actual debate was held in Valladolid, Spain, between myself and Juan Gines de Sertúveda. We both made our respective points, but mine made way more sense than his did. Nevertheless, my fellow countrymen were not swayed enough by my argument to change their ways, and Indians continue to be treated unfairly. It is a crime. But join me, my new friend, and help me fight against these injustices. Hopefully, it is not too late. Actually, it's pretty late. I'm going to hit the sack. Can you see yourself out? <laughs> 